In 1944, amidst the chaos of World War II, a terrifying new weapon roared into the sky. The V-2 rocket, a product of German engineering, became the first human-made object to pierce the veil of Earth's atmosphere and touch the edge of space. Though born from destruction, the V-2 ignited a spark of curiosity. It showed us that the cosmos was no longer just a dream, but a place we could reach. From that spark, a revolution was born, the rocket revolution. The first thing to understand is that getting to space is all about speed. The faster you go, the farther you can travel before Earth's gravity pulls you back down. For a quick suborbital trip, like a joyride to the edge of space, you need to reach about 3,500 kilometers per hour, that's almost a kilometer per second. But that won't keep you up there. To stay in orbit, you need to achieve a special kind of falling. Imagine constantly missing the Earth as you travel around it at a mind-blowing 8 kilometers per second. That's the magic speed for low Earth orbit. And if you want to escape Earth's clutches entirely and head out to explore deeper space, well, you need to go even faster, at least 11.2 kilometers per second, which is a whopping 40,000 kilometers per hour. So, how do rockets achieve these incredible speeds? The answer lies in thrust, the force that pushes the rocket forward. It's all about action and reaction, like a firecracker exploding. Inside the rocket engine, a special mixture of fuel and oxidizer, like oxygen, undergoes a rapid chemical reaction, releasing a lot of hot gas. This gas blasts out the back of the engine at high speeds, pushing the rocket forward in the opposite direction with tremendous force, that's thrust. Just like cars need different types of gasoline, rockets use different fuel combinations. Some rockets, like SpaceX's Falcon 9, use a special type of kerosene as fuel. Others, like Starship, might use methane. Liquid hydrogen is another popular choice. Remember, rockets often travel high where there's little oxygen. That's why they carry their own oxidizer, usually liquid oxygen, to keep the fiery party going. Imagine balancing a pencil on your finger, that's kind of like keeping a rocket on course. A tall, thin rocket needs some smarts to stay pointed in the right direction. Rockets use special engine nozzles that can swivel, allowing them to steer and adjust their flight path. Additionally, fins on the rocket's body help with stability, just like feathers on an arrow. If a rocket starts to wobble uncontrollably, it means something's wrong. The control systems might be failing, and the mission might need to be aborted. That's why rocket scientists spend a lot of time making sure everything is perfect before launch. Not all rockets are created equal. Some missions require extra oomph to get going. That's where boosters come in. These powerful rockets strap onto the main rocket and provide an extra kick of thrust during launch. Boosters typically use solid fuel, where the fuel and oxidizer are premixed and packed into a solid block. Once ignited, they burn until they're empty, no adjustments possible. After launch, the boosters separate and fall back to Earth, sometimes with parachutes for a soft landing. Imagine carrying a heavy backpack while running, not ideal. Rockets face a similar challenge. The more fuel they carry, the heavier they are, making it harder to gain speed. These powerful machines will open up new opportunities for scientific discovery. We might find answers to fundamental questions about our universe, the origins of life, and our place amongst the stars. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.